Occasionally when you use your phone too much or it's a really hot day, you get this warning that comes up that says it's too hot and then your phone shuts down to stop any damage happening. But how does your phone know how hot it is? Or indeed, if you've got maybe a solar powered LED light outside, how does it know it's night time and therefore needs to light up? Well, it's because of the thermistors and LDRs which are in the circuits. Now these change their resistance depending on the outside conditions and then we can use that in combination with a few other things to actually get the circuit doing what we want. Now in this scenario um, we're going to look at what happens where you maybe have a light that you want to turn on when it gets dark. So what we have is an LDR inside this somewhere and with an LDR when you've got a high light intensity and it's bright it means it's got a low resistance but when it gets darker and the light intensity decreases, we get an increase in its resistance. Now this is the way that it could be set up in a circuit. We have a source of power. We've got a light, which is what we want to turn on or off. We've got a fixed resistor. Uh, so that's got a value of R. I'm just going to put that over there. And this is the same circuit, but we're going to look at the circuit um, when it's in bright conditions and it's light. And we're going to look at the circuit when it's dark. Now, um, when it's light, it means we've got a high light intensity, which means we've got a low value of resistance. So I'm just going to put that in there as little r. Now, what this means is that this resistance here is smaller than this resistance. And actually, that then affects how that potential difference is shared. Say, for example, we had 10 volts from this cell over here. If that's smaller than that, it's going to get a smaller share of that potential difference. So maybe that was a 10 volt supply. This might get one volt and that might get nine volts. So the way that that potential difference is shared depends on the size of the resistances. Now again, what we know is that in a parallel circuit, we're gonna have the same potential difference here as over here. So if that's got a value of one volt across it, this is also going to have uh, a one volt um, across it as well. And if you've got a low voltage, that means that this isn't gonna be lighting up very brightly at all. So when it's light, we have a low value of resistance for the LDR, and that means there's going to be a low potential difference across it, and therefore a low potential difference also across the lamp, and so it doesn't light up. However, when it gets dark and uh, the resistance of the LDR increases, this then has a higher resistance. I'm going to put a big R over there. What happens now is that that stayed at the same value, that resistance has increased and therefore the way it shares that potential difference, the way that potential difference is divided is going to change. So if this is bigger than this and that was still maybe a 10 volt supply, that might get 9 volts now and that might only get 1 volt. What that means then is that you've also got then a bigger value of potential difference across the lamp and what we then get is when you've got a higher voltage across it, it's going to be brighter. So this is a way that when the conditions change, the, the light intensity goes down, the resistance goes up, and now it's because it's got a bigger resistance, it means that this lamp then has a greater potential difference across it, which means it shines more brightly. So um, that's the way that this can, this is one example, and there's other different circuits that maybe use these components in slightly different ways, but that's one of the ways in which we can use an LDR in, in a real life circuit to actually change what happens in the circuit for the outside conditions and that's incredibly useful. This allows things like warning lights to come on when things get too hot, maybe kettles to turn off or thermostats to control the temperature. Or we've got things like lights, even for example uh, street lights which maybe have a sensor at the top where there's an LDR and that means that the street lights know that it gets dark and therefore they turn on. So hopefully that helps. Now just uh, keep working through the videos, keep working hard and I'm sure that uh, all of this area will at some point all start to make a little bit more sense.